Hey guys, welcome back again to Mr. Royal's tuition channel. In this video, we're going to be learning about Pascal's principle. Stay until the end because I'm going to show you a simple way to visualize this concept. So stay tuned. So what does Pascal's principle state? Pascal's principle states that the pressure in an enclosed liquid is transmitted uniformly in all directions with the same magnitude. Let's pick out some keywords here from Pascal's principle. So first of all, we are dealing with pressure in an enclosed liquid. The liquid has to be enclosed. It has to be contained. It cannot be open like a lake. A lake is open. It's not enclosed. Transmitted uniformly in all directions. So we'll take a look at that with Pascal's apparatus with the same magnitude. So this is our keywords here. Now Pascal's principle can be demonstrated using Pascal's apparatus. So this thing over here is known as Pascal's apparatus. This is a syringe here. And this is a liquid. So this is a liquid enclosed in Pascal's apparatus. So the pressure in an enclosed liquid, referring to this liquid here, is transmitted uniformly in all directions. When we apply a force here, when we push the syringe, then the a pressure is created inside this enclosed liquid. And this pressure is distributed uniformly in all directions. Meaning that the pressure here, you apply the force here, but then there is pressure everywhere. The pressure is distributed uniformly in all directions with the same magnitude, meaning that the pressure here is the same as the pressure here, the same as the pressure here, is the same as the pressure here. So the pressure is the same everywhere. It has the same magnitude everywhere. Now let's go a bit into detail about what this means by looking at simple hydraulic systems. <laughs> This is a setup of a simple hydraulic system. We have X and Y. X and Y are pistons. For the purpose of this uh, lesson, you can ignore the weight of X and Y. Just ignore the weight of X and Y and focus on the force. So we remember that pressure is force per unit area. If you haven't watched the video on pressure, then the link is at the corner. So pressure, when we apply a force on piston X here, then the force acting over this area here, we are remember we are dealing with liquids in an enclosed system. We are concerned about the pressure in this liquid here. So when we apply a force over this area at the bottom here, because this area is the one acting on the liquid, then a pressure is generated. A pressure is exerted on the liquid here. Now, according to Pascal's principle, the pressure in an enclosed liquid is transmitted equally in all directions. So the pressure that is applied here, P1, is transmitted throughout the whole enclosed liquid with the same magnitude. That means the pressure here is the same as the pressure here, the same as the pressure here, it's the same as the pressure here. And most importantly, while we use Pascal's principle in hydraulic system, is the same as the pressure here, this area here, under the second piston. So when this pressure is the same as this pressure, but it is applied over a larger area here, A2, compared to A1, A2 is much larger and so now when we apply the same pressure to a larger area then we will generate a larger force on this piston here let's look at the formula remember pressure is force per unit area for each unit of area the force is the same that is pressure so here when we have more area then we would generate a higher Force. And so, in order to balance the piston, in order to make it uh, the same position as it is, we have to apply F2 that is the same as the force that is pushing the piston up here. So, this force will be much greater than this force and the pistons will be balanced. And this is the concept of a, a simple hydraulic system. The main concept that you need to remember is pressure is transmitted equally throughout 
in all directions and in the same magnitude. So the pressure at piston 1 here, P1 is equal to P2. This is the main concept that you need to remember. And then we go back to the formula, pressure is force per unit area. So P1 will be F1, the first force over the first area, F1 over A1. And P2 will be F2 over A2, F2 over A2. And this is the formula that you will be using to solve all the simple questions regarding Pascal's principle. Now, this is a simple way for you to visualize Pascal's principle. Remember when we are doing Pascal's principle, the key thing for you to remember is this. P1 equals to P2. The pressure here equals to the pressure here. So how to visualize that? The pressure is equal, but the force is different. So this is the reason. Remember pressure is force per unit area. Force per unit area is the same. That means for every unit of area. So treat this one square as one unit area. One square is one unit area. So the force applied to each square is the same. The blue squares and the red square, they are the same. That is pressure. Pressure on the left and on the right is the same. The force on each square is the same. However, the area here is much larger. So even though the force on each square is the same, there are more squares here. The area here is larger compared to this. And therefore, there will be a larger force generated here as compared to this. This is the application of Pascal's principle in hydraulic systems, simple hydraulic systems. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you've learned something. If you have, don't forget to like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.